Well guys, the time has come. Our son is officially starting preschool. Yikes! <laughs> hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Karina. I am a mom of two. I have a four-year-old and a one-and-a-half-year-old, and my oldest is starting preschool. This will be his first experience in school. He's gone to daycare pretty much up until this point, um, but he will now be in school, and so we went and picked up a few things that we think he'll need, or at least would be nice for him to have. Um, and I will let you guys know, for the majority of the school supplies, we haven't been asked to actually bring anything for him. I don't think for pre-K they really need too much, but with our situation, because he's in preschool, um, he won't be going like to school the full work day. And so at some point, someone will be picking him up during the day. And some days he'll be going with my husband to his back to his office for a couple of hours. Some days he'll be going to grandma's house for a couple of hours. Some days he'll be coming straight home. So it just depends. But I wanted to make sure he had a few things in his backpack ready to go so that he could um, entertain himself or have like some stuff to do. Um, while he is wherever he's going to be if, if that's not at home. So there are a couple things that the school did ask for us to bring. So I'm going to go over all of those things plus the extra things that we decided to get. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So some of these things came off of Amazon and I'll share with you where I got everything. But this first guy is actually from Pottery Barn. It is a Toy Story backpack. It is so cute. This is the smaller size, um, but I believe it's large enough to fit a folder. And so uh, in some mom groups that I'm in, they recommended this size because it's a good size for um, like pre-K and kindergarten and it's large enough to fit a folder, which is what they often need in pre-K and kindergarten, just like a little homework folder. But it's a really good generous size. This is actually something that you could even use like for travel, which is what we plan to do also. Um, it does have two cup like bottle pockets on the side, so a water bottle will fit in there great. And they have a matching or coordinating lunchbox as well. We did not get that. We actually got a lunchbox off of Amazon that I'll show you in just a second. But if you get that, it will actually clip onto the front here, which is pretty cool also. Um, there's also this little compartment here at the, the top. It's kind of short, but you can basically like feed a pair of headphones through this and then have a little, um, like, I don't know, I guess you'd have a phone or something um, in that compartment and you'd be able to just like loop the headphones through that and listen to that. I don't know if a pre-Ker pre would need that, like my son's not gonna need that, <laughs> but it's kind of a fun function to have. So that is gonna be his backpack for this year. And then we also got him a Toy Story lunchbox. Now this is from Amazon, it's by Simple Modern, and I went with this one just because it had different characters on it than his backpack. He's into more into the characters that are on this lunchbox than the traditional like Toy Story characters like he loves Ducky and Bunny he loves Forky so I wanted to make sure his lunchbox had those characters included um this lunchbox is great it will also clip onto the backpack if we need it to and it just has a very simple like you know kind of interior structure it does have a spot to hold a water bottle here on the side if you I want to use it for that or you could do like your silverware over here or something and it also has a little zip compartment in the top here for like again cutlery or um, napkins or notes or special snacks or anything like that and then the back does also have a little zip compartment as well so oops. there you go so super cute they do have a coordinating backpack that is in this print as well um, and I did go back and forth unfortunately by the time I was able to order the backpack from Simple Modern, um, I did not realize that my Pottery Barn backpack was final sale. So I had to send the Simple Modern one back and stick to Pottery Barn. So it is what it is. He loves them both equally, honestly, and it's kind of fun that they're a little bit different. Okay, so sticking with lunchtime, we have a water bottle for him. This we got from Costco in a pack of two, so we technically have two of these. Um, they are by Thermo Flask, and I think they're like 16 ounces. It also has a nice little rubber guard on the bottom. Um, yeah, they're 16 ounces and they are insulated. They have a nice little straw kind of sip guy here and a little hook that you could hook on to something like a carabiner if you needed to. But this will slip into the side of his backpack really easily. And he's used to using these insulated bottles um, pretty much wherever we go. So this is nice and I'll keep his water nice and cool throughout the day. 
All right, along with lunch, we are giving him a bento box. This is the Bento Fresh. These, again, were from Costco, and we actually have another one of these already that he's been using, and I've been toting around for snacks and like longer day days out. Um, but this is great because it has these kind of larger compartments uh, that you can use for making their lunch. My kids are not really into like dipping their food in like sauces and stuff like that. And the other style of the Bent Go box has like a little like teeny tiny little <laughs> compartment for sauces, which we would not use. So I'm happy that we found this and it's you're able to customize the size and you know kind of do different things with it. So these have been really useful for us. My kids both know what like which box is theirs and they look forward to opening it and seeing kind of what mom has packed for them. All right, so another thing that we got is a nap mat and it comes in this perfect little like rolled up situation here. It has a little label on it here. This nap mat belongs to and it has little Velcro on it as well and it rolls out to be a little like pad, a blanket and a pillow. So it's like the perfect size for a kindergarten or for preschooler. It has this great little fleece blanket and his design is planets because he loves planets. He's equally into like planets, Toy Story, and Pac-Man. So it's kind of a challenge trying to figure out what to get him for all of his school supplies. But I figured this would be great because even if he doesn't want to nap, he can kind of just like study his planets as he's like hanging out um, during quiet time. And this gives him something to kind of read and look at and sort of just continue learning even though he's resting. So hopefully that will keep him quiet and entertained during rest time because he's not really a napper anymore. And that guy was off of Amazon. Most of the stuff here is off of Amazon, honestly. But now we're getting into the school supplies. And like I said, he doesn't necessarily need this stuff, but I just thought it would be useful to have. So starting with these folders, these are from Target. I just got him two. So we have a couple different options. And these are the ones that have the little prongs in the middle and then two folder like sleeves on either side. So these will just stay in his backpack. Um, he's going to get like a homework folder or like a daily folder or something like at school also. So I think this will just be an addition to that. But say we get handed like paperwork or um, things that he's done in class, we have a place to put those. And then again, if he's going not straight home after school, we can stock these with some things for him to do like coloring pages, little workbook pages, um, you know, construction paper, stuff like that to keep him entertained and busy while he is out. Now, along with that, we did get him a pencil case. I loved this Sterilite one because it has this nice little flip top rather than being just the kind of traditional open style. And then it has two different compartments. So I figured we'll put like erasers and small things back here and things like his crayons and color pencils um, and markers and things like that in this lower section here, larger section. And then I liked that the front was pretty clear and flat because we can put stickers on it and like put his name on it, different things like that and kind of make it personal for him. And he will love to put stickers on here. He will absolutely love it. <laughs> so we've got some Toy Story stickers that we'll probably use for that. All right, I also did get a pack of wet ones. I like to always have these on hand pretty much in any bag that we have. So of course I'm gonna throw these in his backpack for him to have. Um, for if you know he's gonna have a snack on the way home or something he can just easily wipe his hands clean um, you know or if he's just like a little dirty anyone can use these to clean him off in his backpack all right and getting into the more traditional school supplies we got a couple of eraser options these guys came from the dollar spot they are like little letters and numbers which of course he was so excited about and really really into so I'll probably put these in a small baggie and then put them in his little um, pencil box so that they're not just like floating around everywhere but then we also got him the traditional style pink eraser for him to have in his pencil box as well we also did get a thing of pencils and a pencil sharpener of course to have and use as well he does actually know how to write most of his letters um so we'll just continue working on that with him but he's been used to using a pencil from daycare to write his letters. And one thing that we have not ever worked on with him really is using scissors. So this is a skill that we need to start working on and develop with him uh, now that he's in school. So I got two pairs. This came just as a two pack, which is always convenient. So we'll have one for school and probably one for home if he needs one for school. I'm not really sure if he does, but we'll find out. 
And then another craft item we got is a couple glue sticks just to have again for crafts and just different things on hand here. And then, of course, no back to school trip is complete without some Crayola products. <laughs> so we got him a set of markers. These are the skinny ones. We got him some colored pencils and a set of crayons. And of course, we have all of these supplies like at home already. But it's nice to have a specific set dedicated for school. The last thing that I wanted to share is something that is really handy and useful that my cousin actually got for us. And it's by the name Stamp. This was actually a part of my kid's Christmas gift, and she got each of my kids a little personalized stamp. So this just has their name and like a little um, icon on it, but it comes as an individual little stamp that you just pull off the bottom and then press down and it stamps for, uh, hello, for them. So this is great to put on their, um, items like on their backpack, lunchbox, all that stuff. We do have to label all of his things. Uh, so that'll be handy to have. And then it did also come with some labels as well. So I thought that was really nice. My husband and I do use a silhouette and a Cricut. So if there's stuff that we need to add a name to um, that's a little bit more permanent, we'll just use vinyl for that. But I thought this was really handy even for like jackets and things like that. You can easily just stamp their name in it. I know there's a lot of other options for that also, but I just thought I would share that because it's kind of handy and not something that I had really seen before. So, all right, so that is everything for what we picked up for our son to start preschool. So let me know if there's anything that I'm missing. I so value you kind of season ahead moms. And if you have sent your kid to school already, let me know what it is that um, they need that I might be missing. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know um, one thing that you're looking forward to from this school year. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.